hear me a little better without that scrubber trommel running. It's uh, kind of like tennis shoes in a dryer or something like that, but a whole lot louder. Uh, we're, we're washing diamondiferous lamparite from one of the seven known intrusions outside the crater of Diamond State Park. We're trying to keep it secretive because you don't have to guard what people don't know is here. So, um, we have <laughs> big potato rocks, cobbles, in the scrubber that help break up the large pieces of brescia that I was throwing in that we dig up from the mine site. Um, <clears throat> it works kind of like a ball mill. There's water in there and as it washes around, there are fins inside the trommel that lift these cobbles, potato rocks, up in the air and then they fall by gravity and it smashes that ore and it breaks it apart and it releases the diamonds that are inside of it. And then it all comes out of the trommel and into the lower jig plant into another trommel and is sorted according to size and then jigged out and your light material is discarded and the heavy material is collected and the diamonds will be in that heavy material. Uh, there's two keys to finding diamonds. Digging the right material and washing a lot of it. Now, I've got number one covered right now. I'm digging the right material. My wife and I own the land and mineral rights on some proven diamond property uh, outside the state park. We're not limited to hand digging, hand washing like at the state park. But um, honestly, we're all in as far as what we've spent on this equipment and on the land and the mineral rights. At this point, we don't have money for the track hoe dump truck and front end loader. We would need to do a volume. So right now, I'm limited to just uh, plowing it with a hand plow pulled on a chain by my four wheel drive pickup truck to break it up. I don't know if you saw that video, but that's one way to get it done because this volcanic rock, it's soft in one sense, but it's hard enough that you can't dig it with a shovel you can't pick it with a pick or even break it apart with a rock bar but the plow does cut through it and then I can load it by hand into buckets and put the buckets on my trailer and bring them over here and throw them in by hand but that's low volume I would like to increase the volume and that's where you come in if you're an interested partner in this um, we need somebody who would be willing to pay for the excavator track hoe dump truck and then we would rent a front end loader. The excavator is $135 an hour including man, machine, and fuel. I think it's a bargain, but I just don't have the money. And the dump truck is the same. The skidder, we would just rent it by the week uh, from a place in Texarkana and have it delivered here, uh, a front end loader. So that way, when they dig it up with the track hoe, load it up in the dump truck, a thousand feet from here, it's close, but the dump truck bring it down and stockpile it here, then I can scoop it up with a front end loader and feed the plant, and I will operate the plant. So here's the deal. We're interested in finding a partner willing to pay $20,000 to cover all those expenses. And we will dig, haul, and wash as much material as we can for that $20,000. At the end of it, we will split the diamonds into two parcels. I will list the weights, the colors, and the quality of the diamonds. <clears throat> and I will make do my best to make two equal parcels. And you, as the investor, would get first choice. And we will take the parcel that's left over. That's my incentive to make them a fair, balanced, even uh, set so that I would be happy with either package that you don't select So the way it would work is I would need you to well You could come here and I'll show you the maps show you the site where we want to dig show you uh, In the book work why this is the best place to dig and why this will be hot for diamonds uh, Show it all to you prove it to you and then I would need you to put $20,000 in a bank account 
and I can use that to write checks to pay the track hoe operator, pay the dump truck operator, and pay the rental on the skid steer. <clears throat> and every week I will give you a written out itemized report of how much was spent on everything so you'll know what the money is being used for and it will only be used for that. You don't have to pay the water bill or the electric bill or any of the equipment. We've got all that covered. It's just for man, fuel, and machine to get a greater volume of material to run through this plant so we can find more diamonds. Now, are there any guarantees? The only guarantee is I will work hard and this is diamondiferous lamperite. There should be diamonds in it. I don't know if there'll be $20,000 worth of diamonds or if it'd be 40,000. I can't tell you. We don't know until we wash it. This is a treasure chest that has had a lid on it until recently. We purchased the land and it had 150 year old oak trees on it. Nobody, that is the lid to the treasure chest. It was locked and sealed and proven that nobody has ever dug there before. So we had all the trees clear cut and now we can open the lid to the treasure chest. But we just need some heavy equipment to dig it, haul it, and feed it. So, here are your options if you want to participate in this. With the 20000 in the account, you can come and participate if you want. You can be here every day. You can work with me. But, if you're not able to be here, I can run it myself. You know, I can run the plant myself. But you're very welcome anytime or all the time to be here for the project. Uh, so at the end of the $20,000 run, I don't know how long it'll take to run through that, but I know we can run a huge volume of material through there and should come up, should come up with some nice diamonds. Uh, I want to do it. I, I'm willing to work because I'm confident we'll have a good return for my labor investment. Well, at the end of the $20,000 run, you'll have three options. Quit and say, okay, well, I don't, I'm glad I got to do that, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. Or you can say, here's another 20,000, let's run again. Cause if you got more than your money's worth of the diamonds and want to do that again, we can do it again. The third option is our land and mineral rights plus land and mineral rights of some others is currently for sale and you could buy the whole parcel. We're talking 79.33 acres, 79 and a third acres, for $2,579,000. So uh, you could buy it all and put a production plant on here, you know, if you wanted to, or um, you could just sample with me until somebody does come along and buy all that. But, um, yeah, I'm not pushing you in any direction. I'm just telling you the opportunity. If nobody contacts me and say, here, I've got the money and I want to partner with you and I'd love to do a project uh, recovering valuable USA diamonds, uh, then I'll just continue as I am, uh, digging it by hand and feeding it by hand. But I would just like to increase the volume so we can increase the return. Uh, just make the best use of my time. So, like I said, the, the two keys to finding diamonds are digging the right stuff and washing a lot of it. And we're digging the right stuff. I just want to increase the volume so we can find more. So if this is something you'd be interested in partnering with, contact me. Uh, my email is usadiamonds at yahoo.com. USA Diamonds, plural. Uh, at yahoo.com and I'm Glenn W. Worthington I'm literally the guy who wrote the book on diamonds in Arkansas and uh, I'm doing this I worked in diamond exploration for three years outside the state park for a company called Star Resources so I know what I'm doing and I have diamond recovery experience and I have found 176 diamonds on my own hand digging hand washing at the crater of diamond state park and two of them weigh over two carats each and one of those diamonds I sold for more than twenty thousand dollars so anyway we've got some potential here I just like to speed up the process and if you're interested 
if you think this would be a fun project to do, but I don't want anybody who's going to take their family grocery money and say, well, we'll gamble on this. No, I, I want somebody who, if it were a bust, I don't believe it will be, if it were a bust, uh, you're not going to lose your house or not going to feed your kids or something. But if you've got the money and would like to try a venture like this, let's get together and do this. It's a lot of fun, and I think we can find some valuable gems. I'm excited to see what size, what color, what quality diamonds are hidden in that soil right over there, just a thousand feet away. Dig it up, haul it here, feed it. We got the machinery to separate the diamonds from the ore and uh, Anyway, let's get together and find some gems. Thanks for considering this idea.